Hey guys, Ben here. Uh, I'm with the DIY Scanning Electron Microscope project, and this video will be on my official entry for the MyTektronix uh, Oscilloscope Contest. So uh, let me move the camera in and show you what I've got hooked up today. Okay, so here's my Tektronix 2246 analog oscilloscope. It's operating in XY mode, and the X and, or the channel one and two, X and Y, are coming from this small signal generator, which is a raster scan generator. So it's uh, moving the Y axis at about 60 hertz and the X axis at about 15 kilohertz, pretty similar to TV scan rates. And the signal is split off from that uh, function generator and sent through this, which is an amplifier that runs the scan circuitry for the electron microscope. And uh, you should check out some of my other videos uh, concerning the microscope for more details with that. And the z-axis of the oscilloscope, uh, which this is, has on the back of the device, is connected to this, which is a simple op-amp, one op-amp circuit that amplifies the video signal from the microscope. So the brightness on the oscilloscope screen is tied to the uh, secondary electron signal from the microscope. So it's a pretty complicated project and you can check out the other videos for more details on the microscope. Uh, this video will just concentrate on the oscilloscope connection. So I'm going to switch on the diffusion pump and fire up the microscope and show you what the image looks like on the Tektronix. Okay, the diffusion pump is running. Hopefully you can hear me over the cooling fan noise. And the oscilloscope is generating an image from the microscope. So since I'm using a glass bell jar, I have to have this light tight shield to keep stray light away from the photomultiplier tube. So I'm gonna dim the room lights and zoom the camera in on the oscilloscope display and then describe what's going on. Okay, so the oscilloscope is displaying uh, a close-up of a semiconductor. So what I did was I removed the cover from a standard silicon chip. And what you're looking at is the, the bond pad and the wire that connects the silicon die to the rest of the chip body. So these are those little tiny wires that go from the die uh, to the ceramic. In this case, it was actually a ceramic uh, chip body. Now, if I move the scan pattern on the, in the microscope, you can kind of pan around inside there. So now we're looking more at the silicon die. And over here, we're looking more at the body of the chip and in the other direction. And I can use the oscilloscope controls to control the brightness of the image. And um, the X and Y controls on the oscilloscope are useful just for centering the image, just so it looks good on the screen there. Uh, like I said, I was using the Z-axis input, which on this scope uh, ranges from about 1.8 volts to 3.8 volts and I've set up my little op-amp circuit to scale the output from the microscope to be in that range. I believe that the image is still inverted with respect to most uh, scanning electron microscope images in that the, the lighter parts of this image are actually receiving a lower secondary electron signal. Uh, let me see if I can change the focus here a little bit. The microscope itself still needs quite a bit of work and I had to play with the uh, the scan rate, so I don't think I'm operating at 60 hertz anymore. Judging from the camera's, uh, well, maybe it is, I don't know, I, I had to tweak it a bit. Uh, it's somewhere on that order though, it might be a little bit lower, I think it's probably closer to 30 hertz at this point. Um, so the next steps for the electron microscope project are to obviously increase the resolution and reduce sources of noise, and uh, of course I'll be doing more videos on that very soon. So thanks very much. And uh, vote for this project if you think it was worthwhile. And I will see you next time.